what are you thinking about when you stand on the first tee of a tournament, like your your tournament here coming up at the Corning Country Clubs? What are some of the thoughts that are running through your mind? Uh, the first tee, normally I'm just trying to swing as smooth as I can, just get some solid contact in a ball that's halfway decent so I can get kind of get the nerves settled a little bit and right. everything all, all set. And I know for, for this course, at least on number one, if you miss right, that's okay, and which is good for me because I – and to fade it, so sure. I know I can just swing smooth and kind of swing my normal swing, and I'll be okay. Sure. Now you gave me. I was trying. I uh, kind of setting you up there. <laughs> you know, you gave me a lot of details of. You know, I, I asked you the first thing you're thinking about. Yeah. And you did say just making a smooth swing, which is probably the right answer. But then we got into a little bit of, you know, what's Other. here and what's there and what could go wrong and what place to miss and th those are all things we should be cognizant of, but. Um, you know, I think a lot of that should be done, you know, kind of right here on the practice, on the practice tee. Okay. And I don't want to contradict my last statement where I said, you know, we need to visualize a shot. That's fine. But I, I think uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Be honest with me here. Um, you're standing on the first tee. You might be thinking about the fifth hole. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. With Long the, hole. Yeah. You know, how, you know, I, I got to hit a good drive to be able to get at least a mid iron in there. Mm -hmm. You can be honest with me. Do shots, I mean, difficult shots creep into your mind before they, you know, before they even happen on the golf course? Uh, I'd say they do, yeah. Maybe maybe not when I'm on the first tee, but maybe if I'm on, I don't know, the fourth green and yeah. I know I have the next a difficult shot for me on the next hole. Then yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that does happen, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's natural. It happens to everybody. But, you know, we want to try our best, obviously, to, you know, to only focus on a swing at hand. Right, not focusing on uh, the hole in its entirety, but what shot do we have right now, and how are we going to try to execute our best in order to accomplish our goal, right? And if we start thinking that, that shot by shot, it's a, you know it's cliche, I guess, but if we start thinking shot by shot, you know, we're much more prone to to be focused on every individual shot. Yeah, and that's what's going to really propel us to the next level. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. So, um, so you just hit that shot on five. You're in the left rough. I would gauge you're probably 180 yards to the green. Yeah, something around that. Yeah. yeah. So what club are you gonna need? Uh, probably a five iron. Okay. What I got in my hand? I'll get a set. I'll get a five iron for you. you. Just hit the next shot for me. Probably just a nice solid strike here. middle of the green man yeah that was, that was pretty good that was pretty good yeah now you know that's that's kind of I mean that's a simplistic view of what we're talking about here obviously just you know a, a demonstration yeah, yeah. here on for our lesson series but I think you, it would be it would be a lot better for you if we could do our best just to focus on like you said what it need what it takes to be able to hit a, a particular shot and focus less on the whole um, or the course in its entirety and what the goal is, okay. right? Each individual shot, like I've been saying a long time, you're a good player, you make good swings. Those swings are going to propel you to good scores. Okay. okay? Right. Hit a few more shots for me.